guys, so today I'm going to be doing the sibling tag, and this is my brother, Eddie. And he also has a channel, it'll be linked down below. He does gaming videos with unboxing videos and stuff like that. So if you guys have little brothers and they need friends to play with on their Xbox, go ahead and um, follow my brother on his Xbox Live, or I don't know how that works, but yeah. And uh, we decided to do this tag because he's been in my previous videos, like the Chubby Bunny Challenge and the first video I ever posted here on my channel. So yeah, I decided to include him in the sibling tag. So with that being said, let's just get started. So the first question is how old, how old are you both? And I am 19, gonna be 20 this summer, and he is... Uh, 14? Yeah, he just turned 14 in December, so next year he'll be 15. Next year, this year. Or this year, he'll be 15. Um, describe each other in one word. You go first. I would say, um, I don't know, I didn't really think about this. Um, I would say, okay, so for my one word to describe him, I would have to say loud because he's always on his game and he's just so loud with his friends and they're always screaming and all that nonsense. So what would be your one word? Talented. Talented? Okay, we should explain why. <laughs> Well, because she can, as you guys can see on the YouTube channel, she has all this, like, stuff that she can do with the intro and make the video look all nice and cool, like, you know, like a movie, so. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so the next question is, do people ever get y'all mixed up? And I don't think so. My mom says we look alike a lot, but when we were little, I got us mixed up because my mom had a baby picture of us and I thought it was me and it wasn't <laughs> and I took it to school and I thought it was me and it turns out that it wasn't even me it was him okay so the next question is what is something that annoys you about each other I would have to say that um, he gets really mad easily like sometimes when I try to joke around with him he just gets all mad about it and he stays mad for a while so it would be one thing that annoys you about me that she's always mocking me <laughs> okay so the next question is what is what is it like being with being sisters with the YouTube guru um I don't know you just said you had it oh I didn't say I had it oh okay so let us think about that for a second I would say it's somewhat like funny because like the stuff that she does on the channel and stuff but it's also kind of hard because like if she doesn't have something and if she's doing a video and like I watch it then it's like okay I gotta go and see what she doesn't have and then you know get it for her so like what like the makeup that you buy like I get it for you oh okay but I don't know I just think it's kind of fun because I get to be in the videos too oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next question. Next question is, do you ever argue? Um, we don't really argue, like fight. We just, you just get mad and then, or I just get mad. We don't really like argue about something like for a long time. So I would, I would probably have to say sometimes, but we don't like argue, argue. We just like get mad at each other. And then we go to our rooms and then we stay mad, but we don't sit there and argue and bicker for hours about something. <laughs> Next question is, what is the best thing about one another? And I would have to say that we both have YouTube channels, so I guess we can kind of like relate to each other more. And we always talk about subscribers and stuff like that. So, yeah. For me, I think probably the best thing would probably because, uh, well, she's always helpful, like on my YouTube channel and uh, giving me shout outs and just like a lot of stuff. She's always helpful. Yeah, so his information will be down below, so if you guys want to go follow. Next question is Dish the Dirt, and I would have to say something about him that he does like all the time, and my mom gets mad at him all the time for doing this, but he will take food from downstairs and like leave the wrappers all over his room and leave water bottles all underneath his bed. And he basically leaves them there for the ants or the rats to get them. We don't have ants or rats, but I'm guessing he wants them to come sleep with him that night. <laughs> That she's always getting mad like at the like her YouTube channel or like mostly like her camera. Even if she like 
break something, well then she'll get mad easily or she'll like start crying because she broke it. So yeah, I get really frustrated when I break something that um, that I have to use. Like the other day, I tripped on my lights and one of the light bulbs broke, and I started crying. And so my mom came, and I thought I actually broke the whole light, but it was just the light bulb. And I started crying. I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do without one light? So I was freaking out, but my mom came and helped me fix it. Next question is favorite inside joke. And I would have to say when, uh, what is it, Grand Theft Auto Sun? Uh, it's GTA uh, 3, yeah. which I guess you could say Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, when it first came out, we got it, and we would always play it together. And I just remember, I just remember playing the game and then we were like so into it and I was I don't do the missions I just like to drive around and then all of a sudden the guy's like I'm gonna eat ya and it was like so un unexpected because we play that game all the time and we've never heard that before and we were just laughing and laughing about it for hours so I would have to say that that's my favorite inside joke favorite memory together I would have to say my favorite memory together was when we moved to Florida um, away from Texas and it was just me and him. My sister wasn't living with us, but we had a pool and we would go swimming a lot in the pool and it was just fun because we would we would um, go swimming in the deeper part of the pool and I had this like little alligator and I remember I would take him on it. We would both sit on it and yeah, I would have to say that. Um, my like favorite moment, I mean I have a whole bunch of favorite moments, but this one would probably be when it was me her and her boyfriend um, and we went to Six Flags and it was like my first time ever riding a Superman and then after that I guess I was like dizzy or something and when we were going down like the little pathway to get down I ended up falling <laughs> she was just laughing and her boyfriend was all trying to help me up so. yeah uh, my boyfriend was trying to help him and I was just over there laughing and laughing because it was just funny because we were we were behind you right mm -hmm. or in front no, of you? Friend. We were in front and I just remember hearing, oh, or something like that, like a little like grunt. And I just turned around and he's like on the floor. And I was just laughing and laughing and laughing for the longest time. It was after we got a, off the Superman ride, right? Yeah, so it would have to be that for him. Both siblings, half siblings, or step, and I, we were, were, we're full. Yeah, we're full. <laughs> I didn't know how to put that in words for some reason. Guess each other's favorite singer, and his favorite singer is Eminem, and my favorite singer is uh, Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Who takes longer to get ready? And if we're like both taking showers, then him. If we're not taking showers and we're just getting ready and you've taken showers the night before, it would be me because I like to take my time on my makeup and stuff and he takes forever in the shower. He'll take like, literally like a whole hour just in the shower and I'm like, you take longer than a girl. So it would have to be him if we're showering. Both are flats. Um, I guess for him it would be heels and for me it would be flats. <laughs> just kidding. Um, well, obviously since he's not a girl, he would just be wearing shoes and for me, it would have to be on the occasion. If I'm going somewhere fancy, then I definitely want to wear some heels. But if it's just every day, then I do wear flats a lot. Pants or dresses. For me, it would be dresses if I'm going somewhere fancy. And for him, it would always obviously be... Um, you don't even wear pants. He always wears shorts. Well, it depends. I mean, it's cold outside and I'll wear some pants. But even that, sometimes you wear shorts and a jacket. So I guess for him it would be short. The next question is favorite animal and his I think is a bear. Is it? No. What is it? It's an elephant. An elephant? Yeah. You don't even have anything elephant. I do. Well, I, I didn't know this. Okay, so what's my favorite animal? Um, it's pretty obvious. Um, if, y guys, if she ever did a room tour over there, she has like frogs, so I mean it's pretty obvious. But yeah. She's like obsessed with frogs. I mean, her other one is turtles, but it's mostly frogs. Yeah, I like frogs and turtles. The question is, if your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? For him, it would probably be his Xbox or his <laughs> remotes or some of his games. Um, maybe his iPad. But that's about it that I know he really, really cares for. And you? Um... I would say it's probably her makeups, cause 
I was gonna say camera and stuff like that, but it's mostly her makeup because, I mean, as you can see, she got all dressed up and everything, so mostly her makeup. I don't know. I, I mean, makeup is makeup. I could always replace it, but I think I would save my camera and my computer because those have pictures and that's obviously what I use to make YouTube videos. And yeah. Well, I would save some of my makeup, but I know for sure I couldn't save all of it because my collection is rather large, so, yeah. Well, for me, I mean, yeah, it would be my Xbox, but if I wouldn't choose that, well, then probably birds. <laughs> the birds? Yeah. That'd be the first thing mom grabs. Oh, I thought it would be like her pampered chef and stuff. True. I guess. Horror or chick flick, and for me, it would be chick flick. But if we're watching a movie together, probably like comedy because I don't think you would want to watch a chick flick with me. <laughs> um, kind of depends. I mean, it depends what kind of horror movie, but mostly it'd be like a comedy. Yeah, for you it'd just be comedy. But if we're watching a movie together, it'd be comedy too. Black <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> the next question is Blackberry or iPhone, and obviously iPhone. If you guys um, been watching me for a while, I have the iPhone five. And he also has an iPhone. His favorite movie, and his favorite movie, I think, is like um, the Marvel. What is it? Like Spider Man, Iron Man. It's basically like all Marvel movies. Yeah, the whole stuff like that. And the, what's the other one with all of them? The the Avengers. Yeah, I've never been into those movies. So what would be my favorite movie? This I know for a fact. I mean, it's hurt, but sometimes we'll watch it together. That would be Drumline. If you don't know what that is, we say, like, well, I mean, by the title, you can tell it's like these college group, and it's like band versus band. Yeah. I used to be obsessed with that movie because when I, well, I still am, but not as much. When I was a freshman, I was on the Drumline for my high school, and. I just, I don't know, it was just really inspiring to me. Like, I love the way, um, what is his name? The guy that plays the main one? Oh, it's, uh, Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah, Nick Cannon. I, like, I, like, love the way his attitude is, and, um, he just inspired me because I could never read music. When I was in seventh grade, seventh to eighth grade, I started with, um, band and stuff, and I could never read music, and, I was kind of like made fun of about it because I could never read music and so when I got to high school it was like basically the same thing and I was around like these group of guys that all knew how to read music and I was the only one that didn't know how to read music and even the girls that were on it too they knew how to read music and I was like basically the only one something weird that you eat um, I would say something that we both eat like together is when we go to Wendy's we get the McFlurry things and we like to dip our fries in the McFlurry I don't know why but it is so good and we started eating that because one day we went and my mom did it and she told us to taste it and ever since then we always do that we have to order a McFlurry with fries and yeah we both eat it so that would probably be something weird that we both eat together um, majority of the things I eat, like we're both not picky, so anything I eat, he eats. The only thing that he won't eat is like bell peppers and onions. Oh well, no, I eat onions, but like avocado. Oh yeah, he doesn't like avocado for some reason. Like, the question is, do you guys have anything matching? And I think if he was a sister to me, we would have so much stuff matching. But obviously, since he's my brother and not my sister, we don't have anything matching that I know of. Yeah, I guess we don't. The next question and the last question is, what is your favorite TV show? And his would have to be The Walking Dead, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he watches that every Sunday. He never misses it. Um, so his would be The Walking Dead. What would be mine? I really don't know if it's her favorite, but I do know it's like our favorite. Like we watch it at the same time. We haven't really been watching it lately, but I know it would be on Lifetime, uh, Twisted. It wasn't on Lifetime, it was on ABC Family. Oh wait, no. Yeah, sorry. Uh, ABC Family. Yeah, when, when I had moved to Florida, well when we had moved to Florida, that was when Twisted first came out and I got him addicted to it. Well, we both got addicted to it, but since we were like in the process of moving and stuff, um, we haven't really had the chance to watch it, but I do want to catch up on it. So, I, it's not my favorite, but I did get into it. I don't really watch TV that much, but anything on Lifetime or ABC Family, I'm all for it.
Okay, so that is the last question. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to look at both of our links listed down below. We have Instagrams, Twitters, and I have a Pinterest. I don't think you do. But yeah, follow me on Pinterest because I've been pinning a lot of stuff like crazy, like I've been saying this whole month. And I would really love if you guys follow me on Pinterest. That way I can pin your stuff. And do you have anything else to say? I should say, but I do want to say this is that I'm in the process of getting two things for my YouTube videos. One is uh, this thing called like a game capture that makes my videos like better, kind of like what her camera does. And um, it's that and getting a new Xbox, the newest one that came out. And that's going to improve your YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's all we have to say. And I hope you guys follow me on all my social media because I would love to talk to you. And leave me some other comments of what you guys want to see. And if you guys want us to do some challenges, we could definitely do that too. I don't know of any new challenges that have been going around. But if you guys want us to do challenges, we could definitely do that too. So that is it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.